What's going on everybody? Today we make some small adjustments to our drift track. We do a lot of test drifting, test running, and we install a boost gauge. That doesn't work. No, it doesn't. It'll be fine. Yeah. Man, that thing is awesome. We're gonna fill in. Oh! Perfect time. That's yeah, not a good time. That's a starter. You're saying starter stuff. You want to get a flathead or something? It's alright. Hopefully everything's fine. Somehow it uh, <laughs> hit a bump or something and it moved some wiring. Ike's removing the battery so we can get it on the charger, and then he's going to be removing the alternator and the faceplate of the engine so he can look at the hull sensor. He's going to do that because uh, this thing has not been running well at all at high RPM. We test rode it for a couple of minutes the other day, and it really it did awesome until about three-quarter throttle. And then anything past that, it would break up and want to die. I've been working on the fuel system, uh, more specifically like the fuel lines. We had to switch the pickup and the return. Uh, so the pickup is now at the lowest part of the, uh, the gas tank. Ike has been working on relocating the hull sensor. And I don't think he knows if he did it right or not. No, I'm pretty sure I didn't. But uh, you know what? It'll be fun. That's right. We're going to consult with the uh, owner's man. So while I now have the gas pickup under here where we need it to be, uh, it kind of made a kink in a couple of the spots. Well, mainly just this one. So we're going to need to address that. So we had this thing just about ready to go. And then we noticed something. I already knew it was going to happen. A little crack. Because... We were relying on this other pipe holding the turbo in place. Now that this one's not holding it, the only pipe holding this turbo up is this. So I'm making a bracket right now to uh, hold it. How's it looking? Better. Cool. Good enough to ride it? Yeah. That's all that so. matters. Yeah. I don't know what to expect. No, nope. Like it's turning up more. Yeah, definitely. It just doesn't. I mean, maybe it's just the computer learning or something, but it, it doesn't sound great in the lower now. Yeah, well, the battery was disconnected. Relearning. I guess so. What do you think? been a few days since we messed with the drift strike but today we're hoping to ride it and probably find out some more problems <laughs>
gets running down the road, I'll let you guys know that we have new shirts uh, on our completely overhauled website. So, so check them out on cars-cameras.com. go um the more i ride it it seems like the better it's getting right it's probably a computer self-learning dude yeah and uh dude you can hear that turbo yeah right behind your head it's pretty cool <laughs> yeah one thing i would like to do is i would like to redo this line yeah because you're pretty nasty she is nasty that one's okay but i'm thinking if we do one we probably should do both. Yeah. Um, and get our hands on a real pipe bender. Dude, we also should put a po boost gauge on it. <laughs> a boost gauge. We're on the way to the parts store to pick up a boost gauge for our drip tray so we can have boost or show boost. I remember seeing a boost gauge in here. I don't, but I remember there being a. Oh. Well, it's $35. Yeah, that's what we uh, saw. Last but time. it'll be fine because it's got lights in it. <laughs> Hold on, where is it? It's around here somewhere. What are you looking for? You know what I'm looking for. Are those string lights? <laughs> no. They're over here. Oh, they are? Yeah. Where are they at? Right here. Yeah, the underglow, dude. <laughs> Wait, let's, let's change it. Yeah. I mean, like, there's a there's a nice green there. We could get them to match. Well, all right. Do we need to underglow it? Eh, all right. We should say that for another time. Um, we could make it work, but I mean, it's not like I don't think it's begging for underglow. No, it's not. What is this? <laughs> Dude, that needs to be in the hurt. That shift it knob. Spins. <laughs> all right, let's find some vacuum line. Does it come with any? That's a good question. We are uh, hooking up our boost gauge. We uh, just got back from the uh, auto parts store and we got some uh, exhaust pipe. You know, that when they sold us the boost gauge, it didn't come with the holder. So we went looking for the holder, can't find that. But we found some exhaust pipe. Weld it right to the frame. We got a holder. This will be like gluing it in. <laughs> yeah, you just clear coated it literally yeah. 15 seconds ago. Anyway, that's our boost gauge. And I just got done making a little bracket for it. So we have, we'll be able to see it front and center. Ooh. What? Along with those delicious welds. Thank you. Got a headlight. Yeah. Um, anyway, so we got the boost gauge hooked up. Um, we had it plumbed up from here down through the and tube. And it's actually lit up. Oh, it yep. is lit up. Yep. Yeah. Sweet. Um, down through the tube, out goes underneath. And as you can see here, comes up here to our uh, pressure sensor regulator. Is that what that is? It's a ma manifold the absolute. Sensor. Map pressure sensor. yeah it's like a map sensor okay so yep. about to go on the uh, maiden voyage with the boost gauge 
Don't try this stuff at home, people. Definitely not. Oh man, you know what? Something's probably unhooked from the inside. All right, I'll pull it. thing yeah whenever I was putting the pipe through I probably unplugged the starter wire. Ooh. I'm hoping that I'll uh, have I should have enough room to pull the wires out I think I tucked them in it was going all over the place for you too wasn't it uh, yeah it was it definitely has boost but oh absolutely um, I saw it peeking out at 15 psi, but it's, but it's when it does that. Yeah, that doesn't count. The other gauge was like real smooth at seven. Yeah, well, it was smooth boost, whenever you gave it gas. With the, when the boost boosted. Um, I don't know why it's so uh, all over the place. Probably because we have so much space now. You know, in between the. I would figure we'd have less. So we tested the trike. And the boost gauge, unfortunately, kind of does that the whole time. Uh, we are going to grab the gauge from the test gauge that we used from Ike's work. Uh, because I guess we might, we might have a faulty gauge. Could be. I just got to say, love the build. I love the build, too. Dude, we should see if Go Power Sports sells cup holders. Maybe we should see if they sell boost gauges, too. <laughs> that would make a lot more sense. <laughs> <laughs> so thanks for watching this video, everybody. we got to thank Go Power Sports for all the parts. There's a link to all the parts we use for this build from Go Power Sports in the description. We also got to thank Garage Amino and All Out Bikes. Um, kind of bummed that the gauge didn't really work out, but it looks cool. And that's kind of been the whole theme with this, this trike, is that, you know, it worked fine without a turbo, without EFI. But... We had to go that extra mile. We had to take an extra step. That's right. An That's extra right. Extra step for parts and trikes. And trikes. Something like that. Yeah. Um, but anyway, I mean, it's just this whole thing. Everything we do is just installing something and then working the kinks out of it. Yeah. <laughs> that's like that's been our existence. Yeah. But it's okay. It'll be fine, right? That's right. Yeah. It will be fine. We yeah. don't ever make plans. We just do it. That's right. And, and that's, then we try to fix things after that. That's yeah. the magic, right? Yeah. <laughs> so thanks for watching this video, everybody. Check us out on Facebook and Instagram at Cars and Cameras Reviews and Garage and Nino at Cars and Cameras. We'll see you in the next one. Okay.
okay. It's not that fast. Not that fast. But you can tell it's got a tall. 